everybody, Robert here, and today we're going to be discussing taking your English keyboard and doing a really neat thing with it. You can uh, take it and uh, be able to type in Hebrew characters. Now this was a neat thing for me. Um, I didn't know how to do this, but I found a website. Up here you can see the link, uh, wiki.jewishliturgy.org slash Hebrew underscore font underscore and underscore keyboard underscore layout underscore setup. And uh, what you're going to be doing here is uh, they have a, a little zip file that you can download. Now this works on Macintosh, as I understand, and Windows. Today I'm using Windows XP, so uh, you're going to be taking that. Um, anyway, we can go ahead and download this here. I've got Mozilla Firefox, and uh, you can do this in any browser, but uh, download it to a place where you're going to know where it's going to be downloaded to. And what is downloaded is this zip file here. Now I have pzip, uh, which has been very valuable to me. It's an open source project, so it's entirely free to be able to extract this zip file because uh, inside it, as you can see here, um, it's got multiple files. Uh, pzip, P-E-A-Z-I-P, uh, and you can search for that on Google and bring it up. There, alternatively, there's another one called 7z, I believe, and uh, pzip is based on it, but anyway, pzip gives you a nice graphical user interface. Um, you're going to extract this and uh, once you're finished extracting, you uh, go to it. It'll, it'll bring up these two files here. I'll drag them over so you can see. And, uh, whoop, not that one yet. And uh, it brings up this, this uh, exe file and this PDF file. Now, this, this manual is really very interesting. It has uh, an introduction and an installation in that introduction here. You have uh, uh, information on what's, what's next here. This is the most valuable portion of it, the um, uh, keyboard mapping. Uh, it allows me to see immediately what keys I'm pressing up here. Uh, so if I'm pressing the Q key, and uh, I, I would get this here in Hebrew, or let's say the T key, I'd get the Aleph, and it's giving me an English transliteration of the Aleph. And I believe down uh, below here, I don't know what the, what the uh, numbers are. I didn't read the manual fully on that, but anyway. <laughs> You get this. This is the normal state, and in the shift state, you get all these uh, vowel markings that you th you can then include with the with the Hebrew characters, and then you get um, a state here when you press the the Alt G R key or the uh, right Alt key. You get these states. Um, also up here, you can see you get uh, if you press Alt Control and then press one of these keys, you get these. I don't know how to use all these, and they really weren't that valuable to me. Alternatively, you also have uh, Alt Control and Shift states as well. So um, uh, you get you get a really a slew of things from this right off the bat. Um, right now, what what we're going to do is we're going to take the exe file, and I'm going to double click on it. And uh, this will bring up a little window here that uh, then allows you to extract these files to a particular folder. You're going to have to pick a folder on your system uh, that you want them to. I would, I would just place it in the same folder here if it were me, but uh, uh, you can choose wherever you want. Anyway, you're going to extract this, and you get this folder that you saw earlier. And uh, inside of that, you have a setup.exe file. Now, before we do this, I'm going to go into my control panel. And uh, uh, really, I should have mentioned this a little bit more in detail prior to this, but uh, we're going to take it with a grain of salt here. This is uh, in the category view of your control panel. Alternatively, in the, in the classic view, you'd go to regional and language options right here. I'm going to show you in category view where to find that. This is in date, time, language, and regional options, and then regional and language options. And uh, it brings up a little window here. I have my regional options and gives me all sorts of information here. I'm going to go into the languages tab. And uh, in here, what your system probably has right now is this checkbox unchecked. What you're going to want to do is check this, press apply, and uh, it'll come up with, with an option to install uh, complex scripting for right to left languages. Now you're going to need your, your Windows installation disk. Uh, to do this. So uh, go ahead and, and click this. Once you're done with that, you're going to cancel out of here. And uh, we'll go back to this, this folder here. You're going to double click on the setup, install the uh, uh, package here that you've got from this website. And once that's installed, you're really all set. But I'm going to show you a few extra options here. In the uh, uh, Languages tab again, under Regional and Language Options, uh, you're going to go into details, 
and it'll show you you can you can actually set this to uh, uh, by default to use your Hebrew mapping <laughs> here, which would be rather interesting uh, for those of you learning Hebrew. It'd make it very useful. Um, but right now I have mine on on uh, United States English, and right in here you have you can see uh, the biblical Hebrew installed right here. So uh, I can do that, but I also have a key settings thing. Now this is very handy. Uh, when you want to switch in between languages, I can be typing a letter, say, and if I press the left alt key and the shift key, then um, immediately I get a, a switch between languages here. So if I have a uh, Thai language or a Chinese language or whatever else, in this case, English and Hebrew, I can switch back and forth from those between those languages. And uh, as you can see, I've assigned some, some uh, extra... Uh, controls here as well. I can change this key sequence, key change, uh, or change this key sequence uh, just by going in here, enable key sequence, and uh, uh, using the left alt key and any of these here. So um, I can do a whole bunch of things with it. I can use the control key and again do that. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna cancel out of that and uh, give you a little bit of a demonstration on uh, what this can do. This is something that I've already done here. You just uh, bring up Word. I might uh, select everything. Now, it's, it is a little bit hard to get used to this if you're used to uh, United States English to get used to typing right to left. Uh, again, this is a very interesting process. So anyway, I'm going to delete this and show you exactly how I got here. This is what I had when I started out. Um, I bring up Word, and I'm going to bring it up to, a am going to say, a 36 size uh, here font. And then I'm going to press the left alt key. And while I'm holding that down, I'm going to press the Shift key, and then I'm going to let up. Now, you see how my cursor here just changed. Well, I'm now in the Biblical Hebrew uh, uh, character set. So I can press the A key, and you see I get a sheen, or a scene, whatever the case may be. And uh, I can press the K, U, and O, and I can get Shalom. So uh, if I wanted to put the vowel markings in here, I'll, it's very easy. All I, do, all I would do is I would press the shift key, and I put the vowel markings in after I press the uh, letter, I believe. But uh, anyway, you can get a good idea as to how useful this can be. Um, I'm going to right justify this so you can see exactly what it, what it would look like. And there you go. You can type in Hebrew now. Hope this was helpful.